hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is part 2 video on nextjs and reactjs using mongodb crud sample so what is mongodb if you are familiar familiar with normal relational database where we have tables and columns and rows right so mongodb is a non relational database okay so here is some definition about the mongodb let's understand mongodb is a document oriented database okay so whatever record or if data we save that we called as a document so which is classified as a no sql database okay no relational database in mongodb tables are called as collections so try to remember this terminology so in mongodb tables are collections and records are called documents it stores data in bison format okay so bison is a binary serialization of json so it is nothing but a if you look it looks like a json but it is a binary format of the json it will store actually okay so the reading from the mongodb faster when compared to the relational database okay but mongodb doesn't have relations between the collections we can't declare whether no sql is better than sql or vice versa because depending on depending on our application requirement and our business logic we can choose individual database some cases we might have to use both the database so for our demo to store our sample data into the mongodb I am going to use the MongoDB Atlas Cloud Platform. Okay, so you if you search like MongoDB, you can see the website for the Atlas MongoDB website. So if you click on it, so here you can see you can for start for free for learning purpose or doing any samples, you can use the start. Okay, so on clicking on the startup it will ask for you to register okay once you register you can create a free cluster so that next you are going to land on to the mongodb atlas dashboard okay since i have already registered my cluster or the server so i will directly sign in okay So after your successful registration, next you have to create the cluster. On creating the cluster, you are redirect back to this dashboard like this. Okay. Now to create a MongoDB database here, so you can see here the cluster zero cluster which I created for free. You can see your cluster once you land on this dashboard. Okay. Now I want to create a MongoDB database and a sample collection. So collection means nothing but the table. Okay. So to do that, you can click on the browse collections button here. Okay. Since I have already created one sample table, it is displaying like this. If you are totally new here, it will display one add button to create your collection. Okay. So where you can create your database okay let me create new database this database is my old database so let me create a new database here you can see the create button if i click here i can pass my database name and collection name nothing but the table name okay i will name it like next yes yes okay that is my database and i will name uh, my class like employee okay so here you see my database is created i want to select it so if i click on it my new database gets selected okay so here i have table like employee so we know tables contains documents right so document is nothing but a bison format which is a binary format of json okay for so let's insert a 
one sample uh, document into my employee collection. So to do that, we can click on this insert document. Okay, and here a pop up opens and in that pop up we can add our document. So it is a generally a JSON format only. So let me add. So if you click on this flower braces, it will open two kind of windows. So let me use this window type. So ID will be auto populated underscore ID. Okay. So here I want a property name like uh, employee name like Navin. Okay. Role like job role. Okay. So my job role will be senior dot developer. Okay. And experience. Okay. So this is one document. Now, if I click on insert button, okay. If I click on this insert button, new document gets inserted into my employee collection. So click on insert. See here, document is successfully uploaded. Okay, like this, you can play with the MongoDB in the cloud. Okay. Now I have set up my MongoDB and I have collection, means I have created the collection and I also added some sample document into it. Okay, now thing is I have to communicate with my database, MongoDB database from my Nest.js application, right? So to communicate with the cloud, a cloud MongoDB with from our Nest.js application, we need to create the connection, okay? So for that, first we have to do few things, okay, to before creating the connection string. Like if you click on this network axis, okay, now here you can see add IP address, okay. So in production, you can register your Nest.js application running server IP address to make database communication protected by the IP address. For our demo, we no need of any kind of the those restrictions, right? What you can do means click on add IP address and here it will show allow access from anywhere. That means there won't be any IP restriction. Okay. For my demo, this is the best option. So click on the click on this and click on confirm. Okay, that is the first step we have to do. We have to give the network access. And next thing, if you click on the database access, so you have to create the user for your application. You have to create one user, okay? So from here, you can get the username and password. If you click on new, you can see all the options, okay? I have already created one user, I am going to use that only. So, this username and password we have to use in the while framing the connection string, okay? So that is the second step. Now let's create the connection string. Okay. So go to the database menu again. And if you click on connect, here you can see number of options for connecting with the MongoDB database. Connection with your application. Here my application is NestJS, right? I'm going to choose this option. So click on it. So here is the connection string. You can see my username auto populated, but I have to pass here password. Okay. So I have to use this connection string in my Nest.js. So let's go to our Nest.js application. Interact with the MongoDB using that connection string. First, we have to install two libraries that are related to MongoDB. That is original Node.js library, that is Mongoose. And another library is nest slash mongoose library. So if you go to the so if you search like nest.js mongoose, okay. So this is the library we required. So here is the command for uses. So here we have to install two libraries. One is original mongoose and another one is wrap nest.js mongoose. Okay, so copy this command. Go to our Next.js application, open the terminal. So open one more terminal.
from the command our mongoose package is installed successfully so let's use the mongoose module so i am going to register it in the app module which is our entry module okay so mongoose module dot for root method we have to use and here we have to pass our connection string so this is our connection string right copy it and paste it here so it should be given in the single quotes or double quotes okay so here you have to provide your own user password and here i have to add one more thing after dot net slash we have to specify our database which database we want to communicate if we don't specify the database name here what it will do it will by default searches for the database with name test okay but we have already created database right so we can copy that name so go to browser collections and this is my database name nest.js react youtube demo copy this name and add it here so that is the database name so here you, you have to replace the with your password okay now i have added my password also to test whether this db connection is correct or no issue just stop our nest.js application and rerun again here if you have any issue with database connection you can see error as a log here if there is no log without error then it is successful here you can see mongoose dependency initialization in a green text that means my connection is success there is no issue with my connection okay mongo mongodb connection string so since i have created a collection like employee right which is nothing but a table so i am going to create a new module here in my nest.js application okay i have mentioned right our code can be separated like modules so here i am going to create the new module for creating the files very easy we can use the nest cli commands so now i want to create the module for my employee right so the command is nest space g for generate module okay i want to create the module and i can specify name of my module okay employee i will name my module name like employee run it and here we can see a message like our module is created okay if i go to my file structure in the src you can see a folder created with employee and the with a module like employee module okay so to communicate the collection we have created right a collection employee collection we have created right we have to create a schema for this employee collection in our nest.js application so that schema will act as a collection in nest.js application so it can interact with the mongodb okay so let me create a class schema is nothing but a class and we will create properties those properties are nothing but the properties that are matched to our document here we have document right these property names will be added in that class okay so to create a schema class we have a command like so i want to create schema as a class right so command is like nest generate i want to create class so class so i want to create inside of the employee folder so specify the folder path and inside of the employee folder i want one more folder like schema 
okay inside of that i want to create my actual class okay so employee okay and i don't want to create a folder for my employee schema class okay so i can specify iphone iphone flat flag and i don't want any spec file so i can specify like no spec okay run it okay schema file got created so here you can see one more folder schema in that employee schema file. okay now i want to change this class name to employee and first i want to register the document property names here okay we no need to register the id id will be automatically given for us by the mongodb okay so just copy the property names so it will be a string string number okay for now i have just created a class simple typescript class now i have to make it as a schema so for that it should be decorated with at the rate schema okay schema and let's get it from the nest.js slash mongoose okay schema so and to this we have options like collection so here i can specify my actual collection name so what is my collection name employee so let me copy this name and give it here i am just mapping my class with the actual collection at the database okay and now each property must be decorated with the at the rate prop okay so that they will be considered as a document properties prop also comes from nest.js okay add it on every property okay now i have created a normal class and i mapped with the uh, mongodb schema so from this using this class we have to generate schema and we have to export it so what i can do export constant and employee schema i want to export it from here okay i can use schema factory factory so that loads from the nest.js mongoose and create per class okay which class employee class okay and here i can specify the type of my employee document so export type i will name it like employee document to represent each document in the collection okay type i am specifying and it will be either the employee or normal document so that document must be loads from the mongoose okay import from normal mongoose okay document okay finally our schema changes look like this okay so now i have to register my schema class into my mongoose module see in app module we have registered the connection string right but here we have created separate module like employee module so here we have to register the future module so here in the future mongoose module we have to define all our uh, mongoose collections inside of this module okay now i have a employee schema right i have to register it here so here module imports that is an array and mongoose module okay 
that loads from the nest slash mongoose and here we have to use the for future for future means child module for route means app module okay parent module so now i can add a array and i can register the object like each collection since i have only one collection right so i can register it here so first we have to give the name so what i will do i will give this name only here register name as well okay and the schema we have employee schema right this one we have to register it here okay and the collection name okay and it is always advisable to give the collection name and this registration name same okay so employee okay now in nest.js to communicate with the mongodb we have to write some some logic right so all that logic we should be added inside of the service file so first let's create the service file okay so to create the service file i can use the nest cli command nest generate service okay i have i want to create inside of the employee folder employee module right i can directly specify the simply like this so what it will do inside of the employee folder it will create employee.service.ts file i don't want any spec file so give flag like no spec and here you can see inside of the employee folder employee.service file got created okay so let's go to employee service okay and now in the constructor we have to define a model okay using this nest.js mongoose and normal mongoose we have define a model instance so that using that instance we can get some predefined methods for fetching the data from the mongodb saving the data into the mongodb for updating deleting as well so first let's define that model instance okay so in the constructor let's inject that model the rate inject model okay so that loads from the nest j slash mongoose okay to that model we have to specify the name so i can specify my employee class name employee dot name this is going to give the just this name only employee string name okay for that injectable token model what i want private employee model okay and model that loads from the mongoose and to that we have to specify our document type so we have created our employee document type right we have to create so now this is the instance okay uh, that give predefined methods for fetching or saving or deleting updating method so this is the model instance for my employee okay to communicate with the mongodb okay so next we are going to implement the read operation thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support me by liking the video and also by subscribing to my channel Soon we are going to meet with new content, until then signing off.